No, in the in the eyes like that, in an in an animal and that way, so that the uh, it, it's like the idea of evolution is as recapitulating lower forms and, and moving them into higher. And so that that I think people that that have connected spirituality with evolution are are uh, involved in that in that concept. They're like like you know Christ, Buddha, Krishna would, would represent the highest form, or all of the lower forms have been particularly are, are been uh, captured in and transformed and so that that he that et represents this kind of creature that is surprisingly both low and high simultaneously it's almost like a toy and yet he's not i mean like toys in culture are always things that are like in a holding pattern for uh for use that uh like hero's invention of, of the steam engine didn't come about really till years later, but it but it actually existed. So that what what ET is, I, I think, represents that that kind of image. Okay, the the business about Alice in Wonderland and, and the holding pattern. Uh, I, I I would say that that what uh, what I think you're getting at is like the speed of light, because the the speed of light is like a holding pattern, and that um, that it is, is is rotating within itself. In other words, the, like the speed of light is not is really you can't tell whether the velocity is zero or or the speed of light because everything that's below it is is going at a less speed than it or approaching it, and then the the so-called uh, particles that go above the speed of light come down to it. So that uh, I I think he was referring to that, and that that uh, when, when I did the painting that had to do with the real Alice. Uh, I think he was seeing, uh, he was seeing a, a, lot, a lot of the rise of the feminine consciousness in that, of like the, the true contemplative mind is, is in that little girl. I mean, she's, uh, uh, she has become the still point, the point that is neither going forward nor back. Yes? I'm not familiar with the golden proportion. Okay, the, go the golden proportion <laughs> is, uh, described as like one as the 1.618 uh, as, as, as a proportion. It occurs as the, if you extend the Fibonacci series, which is an, 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 an additive system, out and divide it by itself, it will approximate like a kind of damped oscillation. If you put the, the, the thing on a graph, you'll see it com comes up to 0.618. Uh, it occurs in light form. I, I consider it like a master singularity that passes through spatiality. That um, if you proportion rooms with it, it's it's nice to look at. The Parthenon um, has all of, has all of the golden proportions involved in it. The human body, you know, with the navel to the head, you know, uh, finger relationships. Uh, <coughs> most measuring systems that work well are based on the golden. Portion. There's a lot of a lot of people reacting to the metric system because it hasn't been adjusted to the golden proportion. Like Le Corbusier's modular was the first attempt in, in our culture to unite the metric system with the with the more traditional systems that are based on the golden proportion. It's uh, it, it's a sense of where there's both ease and dis-ease involved in it uh, as it as a as a form like phi from from phi is because used it, that uh, it's an extended fraction that appears to be both rational and irrational simultaneously. The, 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 uh, the Pythagorean Brotherhood used it because of that property. In other words, when you make a, a pentacle like this, one arm could be a unit, then the other part uh, is in the golden proportion, or the center is 618, and those are units, so you'd have two 0.618, you know, coming across. So every time you do it, you, you graphically pass through the solution to what is supposedly 
an extended fraction so that you can uh, you can spatially pass through that singularity. Whereas in terms of, of just pure mathematics, you can't do it because it appears in the way, it's like the, uh, the positive solution of like x squared minus x minus one equals zero. And so that by manipulating the figures, you can't pass through that solution. It, it will act like pi. It will appear, you put it on a computer, and it will keep on going. But, it, but if you deal with it spatially, you can find out where it is. So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting thing. And that uh, the Greeks were very upset when you had irrational numbers or extended fractions when they discovered them. But they also immediately discovered the figure. But I, I don't think they discovered it. I think they just utilized it. Uh, I mean, all, all, all of this information, I think, is you know millions of years old. Uh, involved with, you know, the extent of, of human existence is unrecorded. I mean, we're, make, we're making estimations in the same way we're making estimations in the age of the universe. But you see uh, phi as a proportion running through almost everything in life. Thanks. Yes? Is any of your work related to the Hubble experience? Right. The, uh, now, those, like, the one that I talk about is like what happened in a in a dream. The um, uh, like my own you know my own life in a sense is pretty dull. So that the the only thing I know about is like going to galleries and you know and looking at stuff. And so that I had I had a dream of going to a gallery down in Newbury Street, and it was like it was next to the Alpha Gallery and it was called the Omega Gallery. And the galleries I walk in, and uh, suddenly. In there, I see things like I can't believe. You know, I'm, I'm looking at. It was like the first time that I ever became jealous of somebody else's work because, like, I, I I didn't know I was dreaming at this point. I'm looking at these things that appear to be alive, and uh, I'm work. I'm sort of working with them and seeing them, and then I'm I'm trying to tap people on the shoulder and say, "Who did this? What you know? What are they? Where is this coming from?" People were ignoring me. Somebody was. Was uh, you know buying and selling and you know wandering around and I and I'm, I'm beginning to perspire and everything about this and uh, they 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 looked like things they were sculptures but they looked like they were living and uh, there, there was iridescence things that were happening but uh, I, I eventually got into a state where where in a sense I began to realize I was uh, I was a, a dreaming I knew I was dreaming. And that I began to contemplate one of these things, and I said I, I discovered a sense of they were uh, like the I was talking before about the epistemic uh, inverse, where the knowledge became active and I became passive in relation to this, and it was like I was being absorbed into this. I felt like I was going to die. If, if Bye.